Hey y'all, it's Sandy with Little House on Metairie. Welcome to my home. If you are new here, I just wanted to say hi and introduce myself. And if you are coming back to visit my channel, thank you so much. I truly appreciate you. In today's video, we will be doing another Easter and Spring Decorate series here in our kitchen. We're gonna be doing a Easter and Spring tablescape. We're gonna decorate our treat bar while incorporating some Easter treats. So if you watch my Easter decorate with me in our family room, I did a Peter Rabbit slash garden theme. And then in our living room, I'll link both of those videos here if you did not get to watch the other series to my Easter and spring decorating. In the living room, I did a gold uh, Easter bunny and Easter egg theme and we incorporated a lot of baskets. So here in the kitchen, I wanna incorporate both of those themes together, and that's what we're gonna to do today. So I can't wait to get started. I wanna take you guys along with me, so let's get to decorating. So we're gonna start right here at the table by adding this beautiful table runner. It was $19.99. I bought it from Home Goods this year. To me, Home Goods, TJ Maxx, they just have such great uh, options and reasonable prices, I find, for table settings. So I'm going to add the table runner down the center and we're just gonna keep it pretty simple this year. So sticking with the basket theme, I wanted to place a basket and I knew this one would be perfect to create a centerpiece uh, with. So this was from the Hearth and Hand line at Target and I knew it would definitely be a versatile piece that I could use well into summer. To bring in some more texture to pull that beautiful texture that the table runner has, I'm going to add these placemats that I bought from Hobby Lobby two years ago. So if this is your first time here, I hope that you would consider subscribing if you love all things seasonal decorating, DIYs, and aromatherapy. We have so much fun here at Little House on Metairie. And don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoy it. Next, I'm going to add some pretty simple plates that I bought from at home. They were actually on sale and it's kind of like an off-white color. Not really a cream, but not a white. And I love that they have this beautiful bronze uh, ring around the outer edges of the plates. So I'm going to layer those next. So to each place setting, we're just going to add a napkin and a napkin holder. So I bought this set of eight uh, napkins for $12.99. And then these were a little bit more pricey at $14.99. But if you know me, I love gold incorporating that color for each holiday, especially uh, Easter. So I know I'll be using them uh, well in the future. So I did have to buy two of those to make a setting of six. So that's what we're going to do next. I'm just going to do the simple uh, folding where you just fold the napkin into a triangle. And then you take your napkin holder or ring and just slide it up the center and just kind of place it how you like it. I like to slide it just a little bit. Uh, further down and then the center and then just lay it on top of the plate you could do it on the sides if you don't want to cover up some beautiful plates that you might be using but this is just one of the really simple ways of making a laid back a tablescape so I'm going to quickly finish up making a napkin for each setting and then we'll come back and add uh, some glasses each setting I'm going to add some beautiful green glasses I've had these forever guys I do not remember where I even got them from that's how long I've had them but I'm not sure of the proper name that they're called. But if you know, let me know in the comments below. But I am just going to add one to each place setting. So I told y'all we were going to keep it simple. So we're all done with the place settings. And next, I'm just going to add some moss that I have left over uh, to the center basket. I'm just going to lay a flat surface all along the bottom. So I'm ready to decorate the centerpiece, but first we gotta head outside. It's actually the next day because the day I was filming the tablescape, it was raining. And if you watch my Walmart shop with me, I found this really cute bunny. And although I love the stain, I knew I wanted to age it and make it look a little bit more antique and old. So I am doing the oven cleaner method. So first of all, you want to take it outside if possible 
to a well ventilated area you definitely want to do it on a sunny day if possible because the sun will help the aging process but basically you just take the oven cleaner and spray liberally on there for about a half hour um, and let it sit in the sun but as always you want to be safe so wear gloves any kind of protective eyewear so that way the oven cleaner does not splatter near your eyes or face or on your skin so I let it sit out here for about 30 minutes and I'm back and you want to just get some uh, dish soap, put a little squirt of that and then I get just a little bit of water. You don't want too much and you're just going to use whatever you have to scrub off the stain and don't forget the edges or the sides anywhere that you want the stain removed. So once you scrubbed off all the stain as much as possible, you can get either a hose and just hose it down. I just have a bucket here of water, so I'm just going to pour the water over it to remove the stain that's left. So this is how it's looking after one coat. And sometimes, depending on how light and age you want it, you might want to do this process several times. And I definitely want to do it again. We don't have full sun like I was hoping. So I am going to spray on a little bit more and then we'll let it sit another 30 minutes and repeat the same process. Can't wait to show you guys how it turned out. But first, we're going to add uh, to this tray an adorable rolling pin you might recognize from my shop with me. My husband and I went to the old antique schoolhouse on our anniversary. And it had the little rattan bow. And I'm going to leave it because I think it's just going to add character. And then I have this really cute um, little vase that I bought for clearance at Hobby Lobby. It was actually $5.29. And I knew it'd be great for spring, but a versatile piece that I could use well into summer. So next I'm going to add two different stems. Both of these came from Joann's this year. They had a clearance of 50% off. So I'm just going to clip some of these and tuck it inside the vase. So instead of cutting the stems, I'm just bending them to the different heights that I want in the vase. And a sweet subscriber actually gave me a tip to use rubber bands so that way when you pull it out of a small opening like this vase, it doesn't get stuck. So thanks again for that awesome tip. It really does help. So at TJ Maxx this year, I bought this really cute set of carrots that I thought I was going to use someplace else, which I didn't need it. So I think I'm going to try and tuck it right here. I'm just getting some floral wire and I'm just going to wrap it around uh, the one of the little openings in the vase and see how it looks just kind of dangling right here in the front because I want to pull in uh, some uh, carrot pillows. So I think that this will be a cute addition. And then I also have a cute little uh, welcome to my carrot patch uh, welcome mat. So I do like it. I think I'm going to leave it. It'll tie in the other carrots in the room. And y'all, look how precious this bunny came out. Little tray. Of course, you know, you used oven cleaner. So I'm not going to put any food on it. I'm just going to lay it inside the basket. But I love how it turned out. It's exactly what I was hoping. It did have two different kinds of wood. So as you see, one side's really light and the other side's... Um, you know, just a little bit uh, darker, but that's okay because look at the difference of how it aged it and it just looks a little bit more old and antique.
Now that we're done with the table, we are going to decorate the Easter and spring treat bar. But first, I just want to add a few small touches around the kitchen. So I just had these cute carrots, and I'm just going to hang this bag behind it. And then I have a chair underneath that I like to decorate. So we're just going to add a uh, orange throw right here with this cute little carrot pillow that I bought for $9.99 at at home this year and I knew it would match perfectly in this room and then on a bench I'm just adding two pillows one you might recognize the cute little bunny a burlap one from the antique schoolhouse shopping trip and then the other I bought again for a great price of $9.99 at Kirkland's this year they had a wonderful clearance on some pillows and I knew it would match perfectly right here and then again it's a piece that I could use well into the summertime so friends I really am so disappointed I had so many DIYs for Easter and spring that I wanted to film with you guys and do some full decorate with me uh, for the different rooms in my home. But this year I had to cut it short and I know this is even going out late. My daughter and I uh, had been really sick over the past month and then now my son has it. And then I cut my finger while decorating and that took some time to heal. So I am late in the game. So I am just going to show you some uh, areas in the kitchen that I decorated off camera. And then we're going to go do the treat bar. And then we're only going to have time to do one more uh, decorate with me on our front porch to prepare it for Easter and mainly for spring since it's so late. So again, I apologize and I hope that you still find a value with this video and the porch one even though it's going to be uploaded so late. I really still hope that you can get some ideas, even if it's just for spring or for next year. Now let's transform this beauty into an Easter spring treat bar. So I also did the oven cleaner method on this uh, cabinet. I had bought it from a local estate sale for $35. It was ugly and it was orange, but I knew the potential it had and I love just making it into a tree bar for the different holidays and seasons. So before we decorate the tree bar, I want to add this really cute bunny trail sign that you might recognize from my Walmart a Shop With Me trip. It didn't have a hanger, so we did have to add one to the back of it. But I love the color and I knew it would go along with the theme. So I bought this really cute basket at Kirkland's for $8. They had a door buster sale that day. And I knew instantly I wanted to use it here at the treat bar to create a little uh, window box. So my awesome husband went cut these styrofoam blocks in half for me because I'm still a little <laughs> scared when I cut my finger, guys. Ugh, it just freaks me out. So I don't want to touch anything right now that I could reopen the cut. So we painted the styrofoam uh, brown to mimic a... Uh, like dirt and then I can't wait to show you guys how precious this turns out it's possibly one of my favorite tree bars yet the first thing we're going to add to the dirt window box is these cute uh, faux carrots and I thought getting these little Reese PCs uh, carrots from the Dollar General and some skewer sticks would be uh, really cute just to mimic some carrots sticking up out of the dirt so we're going to cut the skewers in half and then I'm going to tape half of it to the uh, carrot and then we're going to puncture the other part inside the uh, foam to make it look like the carrots are growing out of the dirt. So I made a total of six of these and I'm just going to place two each inside uh, each little section and I think this is so adorable. It was an idea that I had swimming in my head and unfortunately due to time I was only able to do carrots and then we'll just add some faux cabbage with some grass and I wanted to do a whole bunch of little treats so I may redo this next year and finish those ideas that were in my head. So we'll see if I decide to recreate this next year with all the extra ideas I had. But in the meantime, I still think that these little carrots are precious.
So Joann's had 50% off of all of their stems. And when I saw these, they reminded me of little cabbages. So I definitely wanted to use it right here. So I bought three of them and I'm just taking the flower part off and I'm gonna tuck one each inside each of the sections of the basket. So I once again took advantage of Pop Shelf's buy one, get one free. So I bought either this and got something else for free or vice versa. But either way, I thought it would be really cute because it reminds me of a little cabbage uh, pot. So next, I'm going to get some clippings of this faux grass. To me, that's what it looks like. And I'm just going to tuck it right here in the window basket. Now let's dress up this cute little cabbage flower pots. So I'm putting another one of those styrofoam blocks inside. And then I have just some uh, stems. I've had these for quite a while. And I'm just going to tuck them here because I want to make it look like a flower pot. And you'll see the cutest little flowers in a little bit. Before we add those cute flowers, I wanted to add some more of this faux uh, grass. So I'm just going to tuck it inside the pot here and there. I really want it to just look like the pot has been growing uh, wild in the garden. So now we are ready to add these adorable little flower cake pops. So I had looked all around town for these. I wanted to do something exactly like this, but believe it or not, I could not find anything at all until I walked into Pop Shelf and I found this uh, pot and also two little cake pop flowers. So unfortunately there was only two, but fortunately they had them. So I knew these would match perfectly right here and they were a cute little orange and yellow and they'll match so well with the little carrots. So I think this pot came out so cute, but it deserves to be on its own. So I'm going to move it down here, even though we have lots of treats to add, I still think I can make it work. And then I'm just going to move this to the center so that each of them kind of has their own place. So this cabinet has like this little sunken area, which is where I want to put all the sweet treats. So you might recognize this little faux uh, grass is what I'm calling it. I actually bought this fabric from Walmart's uh, shop with me this year for Easter and spring. And I use this as a backdrop in our family room and I had some leftover. So I want to cut a piece to fit inside this cubby area. Just measured it out by putting some marks on each side, went cut it really quick. And I'm just going to lay it now inside this little sunken part. So some other really cute things I got from Pop Shelf was this cute little rabbit container. I love it has the little ears at the top and the front has the little feet and in the back it's got a little cotton tail. And then I had picked up some marshmallows from uh, Home Goods. Uh, it was a couple of weeks ago, but these just smell so good. I love to get my uh, snacks from there for the different holidays and they never disappoint. So again, I was so excited because just for last weekend for three days, Pop Shelf had buy one, get one free. So this canister was actually free and I'm just going to fill up the little marshmallows in it. So our pop shelf has not been open long, so I don't know if they do these specials often, but if you have one locally, it's definitely worth checking out and going to see if they have deals in your local area. So before I add it to the little candy area, I just want to show you up close how adorable the little cotton tail and feet were with the little ears on top. So another thing at Pop Shelf that I wish they had more of were these adorable plates. They're actually plastic, but they were also buy one, get one free. And I knew they would match perfectly right here with a spring garden Peter Rabbit theme treat bar. 
So I also have this cute little Easter egg plate. I bought this from Hobby Lobby, I think about three years ago, but the color I think will match perfectly in the center right here. So before we move on and decorate with the rest of the treats and the whimsical garden things, I always like to put a reminder of the real reason our family celebrates uh, the Easter season is our Savior being resurrected on Easter day. So I like to add some kind of reminder. So I'm gonna place a cross up here in the garden next to the window box. And what kind of garden is not complete without a wheelbarrow? So you might recognize this from my fall treat bar. It has happy fall, but I'm gonna spin it around and hide the words towards the back. And we're gonna use this side. And inside the wheelbarrow, we are going to put some of our favorite organic white cheddar puffs that we get from Target each year. They were a hit last year and the kids wanted them again. They are delicious. So I've had this watering can for a couple of years and it's made to put like a little flower or, or plant inside, but I thought it'd be really cute tucked right here next to the wheelbarrow. And then I also wanted to show you guys, these are just like some little uh, mini cake or cupcake uh, stands. And I thought they would be really cute used as risers for the candy in the back. So I just wanted to show y'all, this was also buy, buy one, get one free. So I either bought this one or got this for free. And I knew that they would be really cute uh, stalled right here at the treat bar. So I wasn't really sure what I was going to put in the watering can. I didn't want to put any candy because there's no lid or anything. So I had bought these to-go cups, which I love to add to the treat bar. And I bought these from, I usually buy these either Home Goods or TJ Maxx. To me, they have the best prices with cute options seasonally. So I'm just going to tuck them inside the watering can right here. So if you watched my last year's Easter treat uh, decorate with me, I did buy this edible grass from Target and I thought it was going to taste really good, <laughs> but unfortunately it kind of tasted like uh, just cardboard with a little bit of like um, sour green uh, apple flavor. <laughs> so although it doesn't taste really great, it is edible and I thought it would go really cute with the garden theme because I just stuck this at the bottom and made it look like a, a nest and then i got some malted eggs and just put them on top and i thought again it would be really cute with this year's theme as well so anytime i go to home goods i always check out their food and snack section and find the cutest things for seasonal uh, decorating treat bars just like these really cute uh, easter pretzels so that's what i'm going to add to the next canister now we're going to add my kids favorite requested pastel easter m ms so most of my uh, containers, I either get them from Hobby Lobby or mostly the Dollar Tree. So these really cute ones came from Dollar Tree. So to the next canister, we're going to add uh, some Easter gummies that I bought from Home Goods. My kids actually have been begging me to open the bag and to taste them because we did not get these last year, but they're the tastiest little bunny gummies. So my kids have been coming and taking <laughs> some and I only got one bag. So I told them they needed to wait till film day, which, which was supposed to be uh, the following day, but turned into a week because everybody had been getting so sick in the house and um, just did not have time to film. So there's not a lot left. I'm going to put what is left in there because they're very tempting and they're so good. So my kids are finally so excited. It's film day and that they can come and get some gummy treats throughout the day now. So even though it's spring, it still gets chilly, uh, even some cold days that we're having here. So I'm going to put a few packets of hot cocoa because we do love cocoa. And I bought some little Easter sprinkles to put inside this little jar that also came from Dollar Tree. I like to buy their little craft jars and then I just wash them really well to use here at our treat bar. So we're going to add some Dollar Tree Easter marshmallows to this last canister we're going to use today. And these could be used either for the hot cocoa or just for a snack. So the last candy we're going to add to this year's treat bar are some jelly beans. So they're not my favorite Easter candy, but they're definitely ones that are nostalgic to me and just brings me back to uh, my childhood around Easter time. So my kids like the different flavored ones. So this year we are using uh, two different flavors, Starburst jelly beans. So do you like just regular jelly beans 
or flavored one? And is there a specific candy that brings you back to your childhood memories of Easter? And I'd also love to know what Easter candy you like buying for your kiddos each year or grandkids. And do you do a treat bar or do you have a goal to make one, even if it's in the corner of your kitchen? I would love to hear all about it in the comments below. So on the cabinet, they have this tiny little uh, cubby area that I like to decorate. So the carrot and the bunny came in a little Easter set that I bought last year from Hobby Lobby. And then I saved one of those little mini cake stands to add right here. And I thought it would be cute to save a few molted eggs to lay on top of it. Now let's decorate the bottom of the cabinet. So on the top shelf, I'm just gonna add a little uh, toolbox. So that's what it reminds me of. And then I'm going to put the pretzels and the little bird's nest with the malted eggs down here just because it was too cluttered at the top. And then inside the little toolbox, I'm going to add the extra cups and lids. And then I have the cutest little uh, flower arrangement that I bought from one of our local uh, boutiques. And I'm just gonna add it inside the box. On each side of the toolbox, I have these cute little carrot green glasses that I bought from Hobby Lobby last year, and I'm gonna put one on each side. To the bottom shelf, I'm adding this wooden box that I bought from one of our local stores here called the Pinhook Flea Market. And then inside the box, I'm gonna put this adorable Peter Rabbit tea kettle that I bought from Home Goods this year. Next, I'm adding this adorable uh, saucer that a friend of mine gave me. And then I picked up two of these bowls that match the little tea kettle. And I thought they were just so sweet. They have a little scene all the way around it and inside. Last thing we're gonna add is this adorable carrot mug. I like how they even have this cute little carrot on the inside. I bought this from Home Goods this year, and I did switch the little uh, bowl to the top because I wanna put just a few packets of hot cocoa packs inside of it, and then we are all done, and I can't wait to show you guys how it all turned out.
sure hope that you enjoyed this video. I always enjoy getting to decorate with you guys. Although this was a late video going out and it was a rough month, I really hope that you got some ideas for your own homes. If not for this year, maybe you could save the video and revisit for next year. And as usual, friends, I appreciate each and every one of you. If you haven't already done so, please consider, like I said, liking and subscribing to my channel. It's absolutely free. Hit that notification bell so you don't miss any of my upcoming videos. And don't forget to give the channel a thumbs up and a like. It really does help my channel grow here. And let me know in the comments below that you stopped by Little House on Metairie for a visit. Until next time, friends. Bye for now.